Hier, äh, Sidequest von Geile. Und äh, da werden wir dann natürlich nur die Dinger hier angucken. Naja. Egal. So, da ist so drin. Geile. Nein, wir wollen nicht loopen und noch nicht Battle Only machen, weil wir sind hier für die Story heute. Und gehen dann mal rein und hauen kurz die Viecher weg. Ich habe jetzt selber noch nicht angeguckt, die Dinger. Ich habe sie nur einmal durchgeskippt. Äh, damit ich dann auch äh, die Gems bekomme. Das so, sollte ja relativ still heute gehen mit den Sachen hier. I am on a journey of revenge. The kingdom raised my home, killed my sister and took everything from me. But its lust for power fed an unsustainable hunger for war, and it eventually collapsed. Still, scattered remnants of its forces remain. And I won't stop until every last one of them is dead. I tarry for a while in a small village. Under the midday sun, I hear a voice call for help. I see a kingdom soldier raise a fist and bring it down on the head of a woman. He moves to deliver a second blow. I leap in the way and take it myself before swiftly ending his life. The woman begins thanking me profusely, but I ignore her. I fight for revenge, not to save lives or spread justice. As I move to leave, the woman bars my path. Asking to see my prosthetic arm, she draws in close. Ich glaube, den Anfang hiervon hatten wir schon mal angeguckt, aber ich äh, konnte nicht die letzte Quest machen, weil ich äh, den Charakter noch nicht so weit hatte. She examines it carefully, looking it up and down. It was damaged when I took the blow the soldier intended for her. Though I tried to explain that I can repair my arm. She waves me off with a dismissive grunt. We've a skilled engineer in the village, she says. Come along. Before I can think to protest further, she takes my hand in hers and leads me off. So, dann gucken wir uns mal die nächste an. Wie gesagt, das sollte ja nicht für lange dauern, aber dann hat man es mal einmal angeguckt und äh, Leute, die interessiert sind, können es sich auch nochmal angucken. Ähm, weil äh, das haben wir mit einem anderen Spiel gerade. Da äh, wird im Februar abgestellt und dementsprechend äh, kann niemand mehr was da drin jetzt anschauen irgendwann. Und äh, das ist immer ein bisschen schade bei solchen äh, digital only Online only gedöns äh, Sachen. Also, ne? I'll cut down everything in my way.
I am guided to an engineer, so that my arm might be repaired. The engineer is indeed skilled, but lacks the needed parts for repairs. And, unfortunately, it will be some time before they're available. Still determined to show her thanks, the woman huffs loudly, grabs my good arm, and drags me off anew. Ich habe keine Ahnung, ob das irgendwas bringt, die anderen Vögel zu machen. We end up in the village pub. She gathers the drinkers around her and spins an epic tale of how I saved her from the kingdom brigand. Soon, I find myself regaled with food, drink and song from all corners. I take a bite of something and nearly swoon. I can't remember the last time I enjoyed a hot meal. When the woman leans in and asks how it tastes, I feel an unfamiliar smile slowly make its way across my lips. How long has it been since I smiled? Weeks? Years? More? I thought I'd lost the ability to do such a thing long ago. So, and the um, last one. You should leave before I change my mind. I've got enough death for everyone. Eventually, the parts arrive, and my arm is finally repaired. The woman asks me how it feels, and I'm both surprised and delighted that it seems to move more smoothly than before. As I test it out, the engineer smiles at me and says, Consider this my way of saying thanks for saving my wife. Ah, the engineer's wife. It turns out the engineer and the woman are married. She turns red as he talks about everything he loves about her. I can only chuckle and show a wry smile as I listen. Finally, she can take no more attention and leads me out of the shop. As we walk, she tells me they have been married almost three years. She also thanks me again for my actions from before. Yeah, the uh, Leute can man nicht ansprechen. This time, I managed to face the woman and thank her for the assistance. I tell her my work in the village is done, and I will be on my way. But that's not the entire truth. I'm also afraid of what might happen if I grow used to the warmth and kindness of others. Ich will die Leute hassen. Lass mich die Leute hassen. Das. The villagers all gather at the edge of town to see me off. Come see us again real soon, says the woman. 
As I walk away, the last thing I see is her small hand happily waving goodbye. Schön. So, und die letzte, letzte. You should leave before I change my mind. I've got enough death for everyone. Grunde um hätte ich äh, hier alles allein nur mit Geile machen müssen, damit es so ein bisschen wie die Geschichte halt ist. <lacht> Ich denke mal, das Village hat äh, von Soldaten etwas zurückbekommen, war. It wasn't long after leaving the village that I heard the news. A soldier was attacking the village in revenge. Before I even know it, I am on my feet and running like the very wind itself. I find the village in flames. The soldier is roaming about madly as he scours the village in search of every last person he can find. That man was family, he cries as he puts another house to the torch. All of you will pay for his death with your lives. My vision is fire. My vision is fire, hat man gerade noch gesehen. Before I even have the chance to feel my building rage, I engage the man in battle. My arm works even better than before. In a moment, I cut him down like a dog. When the deed is done, I walk around the village in search of survivors. In the very last house, I find the woman and the engineer with their arms wrapped around each other and their bodies still. I thought I had saved them, saved all of them from a terrible fate that first night. But my actions had only been the impetus for an even greater tragedy. These innocent people had been caught in the cycle of revenge. And now their lifeless eyes stare accusingly up at me. Your power did this. Your hate. Your thirst for retribution. And you know what? They're right. I did this. It is all because of me. As I fight, I only add more links to the chain of revenge. But if I stop, the remaining soldiers will continue to commit their horrid atrocities. So I have to fight. I have no choice. But in so doing, will I too become an object of hatred in this world of never-ending slaughter? All that lays before my eyes is a crimson world of blood and fire. Ja, nicht schön, ne? Ne? 